How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Got something pretty exciting today. This is my spring tool haul. And the first thing I'm gonna go over is this guy right here. This is a freaking sweet little ratchet. This is the, this is an Astro ratchet. Shout out to CP the Tool Attic for um, putting me on this ratchet. But it's a, uh, part number is gonna be 91410. I picked it up on Amazon. It's a quarter inch nano ratchet is what they call it. Super, small head on this quarter inch ratchet guys this thing is super fine tooth as well and you can just see the difference this is a stubby quarter inch ratchet by icon and look at the head size difference on that guys that is absolutely insane this is going to come in super handy in those tight hard to reach areas and it's a quick release as well which i like a lot of people don't I like the quick release when my hands are greasy and I need to switch sockets. It just, it's just a lot easier for me personally. I like it. I do wish it was a flex head, but it is going to pair nicely. If you guys watched my previous video, I did pick up some super low pro, uh, profile quarter inch sockets. These are power torque from O'Reilly's and these are also uh, pass through sockets and Astro actually makes a ratchet that's passed through. Uh, I do need to pick that up. It's currently out of stock, but it does pair really nicely with these sockets. And that's gonna give me a lot of clearance and help me get into some tight spaces. I don't know if I previously stated this, but I do wish they would make a flex head version. If they do, I will be buying this. But I did pick this up for, I think it was like 40% off. It was like a ridiculous deal, $15, I believe. After tax, I paid for this thing on Amazon. So really nice ratchet, guys. So the next thing that I'm going to go over is these nut drivers. These are all metric. 90% of what I work on is metric. As a, as a matter of fact, 100% of what I work on is metric. That's all I own. Um, so I own Ford and several A vehicles. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be using 99% of the time. I, got, I was lacking some, um, some nut drivers. That really paired well. I did have these uh, husky ones. Look, it didn't have uh, these right. This little indent here to lock into your impact, which is really important, honestly. If you're, this is, you put this in here, and this will just slide right out. I mean, it's still feasible. You can still use it, but it's just really annoying when these are more. And I think these are impact rated. I don't think those ones were. So yeah, this is a nice little pickup, something I was locking, and I think I picked these up for like they're on sale at home at uh, Harbor Freight for two ninety nine, three bucks for some bolt drivers, and these ones are magnetic, so these husky ones were not. So those are gonna be great for even driving in some self tappers and all that good stuff. So I'm really excited for picking those up. Um, next thing is I picked up. This little flashlight off of Amazon. I, I'm not sure the brand, and I don't want to butcher the name, but that's the brand right there. And you can see how small this thing is in the palm of my hand. This thing is super tiny, and it's Type-C rechargeable flashlight. And this thing is super bright. I forgot the exact lumens on it, but I'm going to go ahead and turn off this uh, light here. So I could demonstrate this flash, this awesome flashlight for you guys. So it has four different modes. The first one's going to be the highest, and that's that is extremely bright for its size. And then the next one is obviously medium, low, and then if you hold it down, you do get kind of like a stream. I guess a strobe light is what you would call it. And then it also has a, a very strong little magnet on the end here. So it's a cool little flashlight. I think I paid um, around $15 for it. Like I said, I'll be putting the link in the description down below so you guys can go check it out. But so far, it's super nice. I like it a lot. It has a nice little clip here. So I think this little guy will come in handy, um, that, especially since it has a magnetic base there. So um, yeah, definitely something that I'm happy I picked up. <clears throat> Going into the next item. I have been lacking some impact. Uh, I didn't have an impact wrench. I didn't have impact rated sockets in my box. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, I don't wrench every day. I'm like a weekend warrior type of deal. So honestly, it wasn't an absolute need, but it was definitely a want. 
So I waited, I was patient for this to go on sale. I know I wanted the 3 8 stubby, that's an M12, because I was looking at the high torque, um, M18 high torque, and it's just really not what I really need. It's it's overkill for what I do. So I figured the 3 8 stubby, it's capable of taking lug nuts off and everything. Um, it's, it's fantastic for brake jobs, which is like honestly the most intense thing I'm gonna be doing. So really, this is what fit my needs and this is what I weigh to get and I'm glad I weigh it because this is just a really nice, fantastic tool and it's everybody's favorite. I mean, from professionals to DIYers, this is everybody's favorite and there's a reason why. It's because Milwaukee did such a great job with this tool. It has a stupid amount of torque for its size and yeah, it's just a great all-around tool. And I knew that I wasn't going to be disappointed with this. So I picked this up with a, it came with a 2.5 hour high output battery. I also include, uh, the kit also included some metric sockets going all the way from 7 mil all the way to 21. These are low profile sockets here by Milwaukee. Came with a nice socket rail here. Really nice set from Milwaukee. You guys can check that out. I mean... That's really nice professional grade sockets right there. And then I also went ahead and I was, I said, what the heck? I might as well pick up some more M12 batteries because I'm so invested in M12 platform at this point. I just, these were such a great deal. Supposedly there's a $208 value. I paid $80 for a 4.0 and a 2.0. These are XC batteries and a charger, which I did not need a charger, but I guess it's always nice to have an extra one, right? So all together, I picked up these sockets the gun, the 2.5 high output, and then these two XC batteries, a 4.0 and 2.0, and a charger. All these all together, 208 bucks. So great deal. Um, Home Depot was running a great price on these. So I, I finally just said, you know what the heck? I get the sockets, I get the gun, and I get some more batteries with it. I just said, you know what, I might as well grab them. And then these are the Pittsburgh extent, uh, impact rate extensions. These are 3 eighths. Again, something that's really a great value. I think I paid $13 for these extensions. And I mean, you just can't go wrong with the price. Harbor Freight, lifetime warranty. Um, yeah, this is basically, again, my spring tool haul. If you guys liked the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll greatly appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.